For 125 years, the sounds of Seattle's scene reverberated through this pub. It's uh, a, a place we go to grieve. It's a place that we go to celebrate. Piano chords, guitar riffs, and even the rowdy cheers of patrons. This cheers bar energy where it feels like everybody knows your name. But now in April 2024, this is likely the quietest this pub has been since 1898. It was heartbreaking. It felt like the end of an era. Or is it? Musicians and staff who love the place got together. A lot of community meetings. And came up with the idea to start a first of its kind bar in Ballard, a co-op. We have to protect the smaller venues in order to have artists that can grow to be at the big venues. So they sought out advice. I'll be nine years this coming August. From another Seattle bar who runs as a co-op. It's been nice. Flying Bike Brewery in Greenwood. We have uh, 2,375 members now. We just got our, our last member the other day. Similar to Flying Bike, those behind the Connor Byrne co-op are hoping to also run a membership program. So I say go for it. You know, uh, co -op, the co-op model is, is very good uh, for the community. Over at Connor Burns, they're hoping a co-op model will foster customer loyalty. People will be able to become members at $300. Because it's not just music that matters. I think some of the best songs that you've never heard are written by your neighbor. Local music matters too. Some things are worth preserving. Lundahl says they'll be opening up their membership portal later this month. They're currently raising funds from the community for their startup costs. They've raised $30,000 so far, but depending on how much they can raise, they could reopen Connor Byrne by late spring, I'm told. Reporting live in Ballard tonight, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.